Keith Cage's garage, doing some more home fixing stuff. Um, <clears throat> you can hear, listen to this. Well, it's kind of solid over here. Anyway, um, what's going on here is there is a board that goes on the front of the house all the way to two by eight, I think. That is rotted away. And the deck, it's held up by piers underneath, but also I screwed it to that piece of wood that is no longer there anymore. So that's that's why it's squeaking. It's actually going down because it's not, it's not holding into, onto anything anymore. So today's project, we're getting a bunch of people over here. Pretty much we have to rip all these boards up. Pull all these boards up there in front of the door. We're gonna put new boards in. Just because we have the old ones up, we're gonna put new ones in there. Um, I'm gonna take this board out. It's probably rotted. Um, take that board out. Whatever else is rotted, we're gonna take out. I think that's a two by six. And that's screwed to the house. I'm going to lower it down, and I bought bought a whole bunch of stuff to do it the right way. This, we didn't do it the right way the first time. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff, hopefully to do it the right way. I'm going to put a layer of felt, drip edge, and then the drip edge will go, I'm going to sink this down to the, to the height of the deck. Sink this down, drip edge will go, will go from, will go underneath here. Underneath there, sit on top of here, and then when the water comes, it'll go hit, hit this, hit here, <clears throat> hit that metal um, drip edge, and roll off. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens once we tear it all apart and see how bad it is. Also, I have to, um, inside there, all the beams that come this way against that one piece of wood that's gone, I have to reinforce those because a lot of the edges are just gone. So there's nothing to screw that board onto. So I need to They're two also two by eights cut some two by eights scab on there onto the uh, Whatever's onto a good part of that board and then uh, Continue on So once we get this all torn apart, I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like but this is gonna be uh, and it's and it's getting hot out Okay, yeah, and uh, all this stuff has to, all this stuff has to come off. We get a bunch of people coming over. We'll let, let them help us move all this stuff. All right, stick around. All right, back here for an update. Oh. Back here for an update of the house rot slash deck kind of rebuild. Uh, I didn't take much video yesterday. We just were trying to. Work on this and get it done. You can see a lot of the deck boards are off, so we can get to the front of the door here. Um, we replaced the two by eight that was here. I put new stringers along the beams. Pretty much sandwiched almost every beam between with with some more two by eights. Um, uh, this seems pretty good. I put the hurricane straps back in. Um, last time we had this, we had these white boards here going right underneath here, all the way under, um, which made it look nice right here because you have the white. Now we have this. We're probably going to, I'm probably going to paint this here. I'm going to try to get, I don't, I think I'm going to do more tar paper just right here, staple it on or whatever. It'll protect it a little bit. Try to jam it on the behind there. Um, we took this tar paper and put it up in here underneath. So I'm hoping the water comes here, hits here, runs off. I got to do something here, reseal this. Um, put more caulk there. Uh, this is a two by six. Like I said, there's a two by eight that's on the house. That's this beam here. It's the outside beam for the house. Put this one on here bunch of screws into it uh, I think the next thing I'm gonna do 
is get this the deck get this board here all the way to there I'll show you over there in a second we did have one board here I don't think I need that I don't know I don't really know why we have the extra board there siding there we go get that siding on there kind of don't use a uh, circular saw when you cut the siding because it just breaks like that um, uh, this is not hooked this is not hooked on at all this is not any good oh the J oh shoot the J channel got stuck behind there we go the J channel supposed to be screwed in too anyway I'll get back to that um, like I said I don't think I need this piece of wood here it wasn't doing much I think it was just decorative maybe because uh, there'd be a big big gap here but I'm gonna take these boards the new boards and go all the way over so there shouldn't be a gap because last time we had a board sitting and it stopped it was like this we had a board like here and it stopped here I'm gonna make the new boards go all the way over you know not touching but you know kind of close probably right to here actually because I'm gonna put a uh, drip rail wherever it is and it's gonna sit on top of I think this thing I don't know I don't I don't know I'll figure it out once I that's another reason why I haven't another reason why I haven't been filming because I don't know what the hell I'm doing so I'm just trying to get this put back together get the deck together still hole inside of the house is torn apart um, but now what I need to do is over here this use it was this one two three four blocks uh, a two by eight and then this two by eight was supposed to be in there with some wedges and none of this stuff fits anymore so I'm gonna get a jack and lift up the house all right what you see here is the contraption I made to lift the house up and get these two boards in it's supposed to be two boards and some wedges to get it to be uh, level but uh, there's no way I'm lifting it up again they put wedges in there um, this once I get to a certain height this jack just pops out it crushes the wood you can see this woods all split the wood just gets destroyed and then the jack falls out. it's like the third time I'm done doing this and this is this one worked I got it lifted up enough to uh, get these two in um, without it jacked up it was I was only able to get one in and it was maybe like half so new board here other board I'm putting the two in because that's what was here before so replacing what was there I'm assuming I'm guessing it's level I, I don't know but let's see what the door what happens with the door now the door is just hitting this yeah, I see the door isn't hit anymore and let's see if we're level eh. well. you can see this whole this is the spot that was all rotted out this whole thing was rotted we replaced wood it's uh I don't know it looks like it's down right here and there's all kinds of crap on the floor over there oh. so it's I don't know I can't tell yeah it's it's uh, can you see it through there still not 100% level but to, to lift it up even more I'm afraid I'm gonna start doing damage to walls and floorboards and everything else if I keep going any uh, higher so I'm gonna put all this away next thing I'm gonna get some more tar paper I'm gonna tar paper over all of this um, bare wood and then I'm gonna get a one by whatever I have <laughs> stick a one by it down this way actually no I was gonna use this that's what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use one a piece of this white I gotta take them apart this uh, white um, PVC and put it here and then I'm gonna get a board this is the deck board from here to the corner over there 
I'm gonna uh, smoosh it together with these uh, the, the um, metal tie down thing, like these things, joiners, metal joiners. Hook that together, and the drip rail. I want the drip rail to go on, to, on top of here, so it will go on top of there. Water will come down, hit here, go like this, rain, rain, uh, drain out over here on the sides. If it keeps going, it'll come over here and it'll go on this side of the board onto the ground. So that's the plan. Let me go get some uh, other stuff and keep on moving. Okay. <laughs> all right, I got the felt paper on all the way down. I ground out underneath here and stuck the felt paper under there. I mounted the piece of siding correctly not just hanging in there they put some screws in the siding here and there and then i screwed in the j channel on the bottom so the bottom is nice and tight too and you have to use there's a special tool there's this tool that you need to use side swiper two siding removal tool so you put it in here and you would pry it, you pry this piece back and then you can dig it this piece out. Um, the same with the J channel. You would go put it here, pry the bottom out, get in there, and then you just slide it. And as you're sliding, it pops in to the J channel on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, but that's what you do. You just go, and then when you get to the end, you just come this way, pop it, and it gets stuck on there. I'll put a link if you want to get this thing. but. It's almost impossible to do the siding without this tool. I mean, I don't know if you use a screwdriver or what, but this tool makes it so much easier. <clears throat> we made this, hung this white board here. It's level with here. Um, my idea is there's gonna be, this board, it's gonna actually, you know, it's gonna continue all the way to there. And that's part of the deck. And the deck boards are going to go over this the deck boards are going to sit, be sitting on top of here next thing i need to do is i'm going to put this board in here to see if this because i need to put, i need to put this up um if this is going to sit on that board that that's my plan that's what i wanted to do i want this this to sit on here we'll see what happens uh where is it this peel and seal flashing so this I'm gonna once I get this on I'm gonna get this peel and seal and and go all the way you'll see it'll be a, a, a cover on here um, big mistake up on my part I didn't measure this board was in the way so I just cut it right here I'm like oh, I'll just cut it right here well it's 151 inches from here all the way there which is longer than a 12 foot board so that's the longest board i have is 12 foot so i'm gonna take the 12 foot boards put it there i'm probably gonna make it end here like these other ones and then uh join it with one of these these guys i think i should have enough i don't know what i have in here I have some bolts. yeah i did buy some I got hangers, which I'm not going to use. What is this? What is this thing? This thing goes like this. I don't know if I'll be able to use Maybe I can use that. No, how am I going to screw it on? I'm going to make the board end here, like this one. And then, uh, scab, I'm going to use more of these there and put a little piece of board right here and after i do that i'm thinking i'll probably have to do another support an angle from here to here to support this thing because it's the only thing that's going to be holding it is this and i can't get on the other side so i'm going to be putting one so it's probably not enough but yeah if i put a board if i put another like two by four from here to there That'll probably work out well. Anyway, let's uh, keep moving and get this stuff done. 
Okay, let me show you what we, what we wound up doing here. So, I put the drip rail, so there's a uh, piece of PVC, white, right behind here. Put that there, put the drip rail, screw the drip rail to it in a couple of spots. Um, didn't screw it down here because I figured once we put screws in the boards, it will keep that down. It's not going anywhere. Um, I got this uh, tape. It's supposed to keep it, it should keep water from going. I mean, the water's gonna come here, go down here. It's gonna seep in here, which I have to do something there. I wanna replace, I'm gonna replace this plastic piece. I'll show you in a second. Um, I'll go here. I don't think I can get behind this stuff, but I would probably, I'm probably gonna caulk it anyway. Uh, and it will come here, down here, and run down. So it shouldn't get, the wood behind here wet at all. Uh, I want to replace this thing because there's two pieces. There's this piece all the way there. So this is a little over eight foot. So this one piece is eight foot and then I just cut another one. I want to get a piece that is at least 10 and just go all the way over. Um, but just in the meantime, I put that stuff here. And once I get a new one of these, I'm going to, I'm going to clock this big hole right here. So I decided to clog that up with this, with that stuff and I want to clock this 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 door doesn't move clock here and I mean the door has to be replaced you can see this is all mushy and rotted away so that 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 is an issue but uh, anyway that's done new boards behind it and everything so we're good there I did not put the deck I didn't mount I didn't mount the deck to the house at all this time. Uh, last time I had some legs bolts going into the house and when I was tearing it apart, the most of the rot was right around those lag bolts. It was totally I mean the lag bolts were rusted and it was all rot right around that area. So not doing that again. Uh, the deck it doesn't I, I thought at the time the deck needed to be supported but to, to the house it's not there's enough pillars I got pillars like here like crazy I had a double up here I had a double up here because um, I had to join a piece of wood uh, this is over 12 foot that span from that corner to over here so it reached to there and then I just put another piece of block there, but I put another um, pillar, just a four by four, to support that joint right there. I couldn't, I, I put those plates on, but I couldn't screw on the other side, so. Anyway, um, and then you can see I, there's a joint there, and I put another four by four stuck all the way down there. So this thing's not going anywhere. And then there's pillars somewhere here. There's, there's one right about here and then one right about there. No, actually it's right here. Here. So it's good. It's it's gonna be sturdy. The only thing we need to do now is put all these boards in. You know, and then you got the the difficult ones around the posts. Those are gonna have to be trimmed out, but whatever. That's uh Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do another video after I get all this done, but there's not much more to do. I mean, all it is, I'm going to sit here for an hour or so and just putting new screws and holding these boards down. But chickens are really active this morning. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Um, it'll probably be, who knows, more uh, home improvements, maybe some car stuff trying to get back to car stuff but i need to get you know the house stuff done it's, this is the year of the house chores so anyway i'll talk to you later see ya